Welcome to Catamist. In today's video, we're diving into Onshape to design a unique and festive Christmas ornament. We'll be using some exciting features like sweep, loft, and curves to create a truly one-of-a-kind 3D model. Let's get started. So let's start with a sketch on the front plane with the center point arc. Turn that into a tangent arc and draw construction lines here. Make that a vertical line. Apply an um, angle of 144. Then a um, radius of 36. And down here, 66. Okay. That's it for that sketch. Go on to revolve, uh, surface revolve of those two sketch lines around our axis. I'll keep that sketch visible. Then define a plane with um, an offset from the top plane to that bottom vertex with a plane point option. All right, let's measure um, from that plane to that top vertex 90.9. And um, let's define a helix around an axis, that one. Give that 0.6 revolutions and apply a 92 millimeter height. So that is above that vertex. Now to find a line on that bottom plane from here. To that point, give that a dimension of 66. Exit that sketch, go into the sweep command, surface sweep of that profile and that path. Okay. We can hide that plane here and define one curve with the intersection of those two planes. So there is the command in group one, that one surface in group two, that one and that bottom one. Okay, that's the preview. That's what we want. We can hide um, the surfaces and we can hide that curve number one and that is the curve we will use for the loft. I'll hide that sketch and define a plane with the curve point option which lets me select our curve and that endpoint and there is um, that plane normal to that um, curve. And let's do that at the bottom just as well here. Okay. Now let's just draw a circle on that bottom plane with the 
diameter of 2.8 and apply a Pierce relationship between our curve and our profile. That's it for the sketch on that plane and for the profile on that plane I'll use the polygon command make that three-sided and um, define that by that inscribed circle and give that a 3.7 value and then again a pierce um, between those two and then a vertical constraint between that center and that midpoint. That's it for those sketches, those profile sketches. And now let's go into the loft, solid loft. And I'll just pick things from here. Profile sketch three to um, profile sketch four. Take that path And there it is. I'll hide our curves and apply a fillet of 0.8 to uh, those three edges. I'll make a circular pattern of our part around that axis. Give that 12 times. Now for the eyelet, let's define one plane with um, that vertex and the top plane, there it is. And then let's just offset from there with a distance of two millimeters going up. And then on that plane, let's draw uh, line from that origin going outward with a distance of 3.2 um, and make a circle of 2.8 and one more construction line here, which will serve as an axis. Exit the sketch, go into the revolve, solid revolve this time, or that profile around um, that axis. And there it is. If you want to change the color, you get to edit appearance and maybe apply a festive green. Well, if one of you would then 3D print the object, I'd like to see that if um, you can post a picture of that, that'd be nice. And, well, that's it for the tutorial. I hope you liked that, and i see you in the next one.